Hi friends, Dr. Triya here. Welcome to another video where today we are going to compare similarities and differences between Marfan syndrome and classical homocysteinuria. Marfan syndrome is autosomal dominant genetic condition which is caused by FBN1 gene mutation on chromosome 15, the code for fibrillin 1 protein. While classical homocysteinuria is an autosomal recessive disorder which is most commonly caused by CBS mutation on chromosome 21. This will have increased level of methionine homocysteine with reduced level of cysteine. There are few differences between Marfan syndrome and homocysteinuria. Patients with homocysteinuria will have mental retardation seizures which are not usually present in a patient of Marfan syndrome. The lens dislocation of Marfan syndrome and homocysteinuria tend to occur in different directions. In Marfan syndrome, upward lens dislocation in homocysteinuria, downward dislocation. Two potential cardiovascular complications include aortic root dilatation and dissection as well as aortic valve insufficiency. Whereas in patient of homocysteinuria, there, there will be a vaso-occlusive disease such as thromboembolism, brain stroke or pulmonary embolism. Patient with homocysteinuria will have osteoporosis which is associated with compressed vertebral fractures, these are not a typical features of Marfan syndrome. Marfan syndrome is diagnosed with revised Gantt criteria which we are going to discuss in subsequent slides and a genetic test can also be done used to examine the gene responsible for Marfan syndrome. Diagnosis of classical homocysteinuria is made by elevated level of homocysteine and methionine, a genetic test looking for changes in both copies of CBS gene to confirm the diagnosis. There is no cure for both of the disorder. In Marfan syndrome, treatment depends on the area of the body affected by the syndrome and it includes medications in a form of beta blocker, angiotensin receptor blocker, surgical intervention. Right. In case of homocysteinuria, patient with the disease usually responds to supplements like vitamin B6, B9 and B12, B10 and low methionine diet. Disorder, homocysteinuria and Marfan syndrome overlap in some clinical symptoms primarily in Marfanoid habitus. Both conditions are associated with scoliosis, posterior vertebral body scalloping, chest abnormality, arm span more than height and Marfanoid habitus, tall stretcher. Hyperflexible joint uniformly present in a patients of Marfan syndrome while in patients of homocysteinuria they are variably present. The systemic score is a method of assigning weighted values to the presence of characteristic abnormalities in cardiovascular, ocular and other organ systems that are associated with Marfan syndrome. These are all self-explanatory. The points are given according to the signs. This is revised Gantt criteria which is used for the diagnosis of Marfan syndrome. In the absence of family history, the presence of more than two features is sufficient for the unequivocal diagnosis of Marfan syndrome. In the absence of family history, one of these two cardinal features, the presence of FBN1 gene mutation or the systemic core is required. Experts expect that while use of new diagnostic criteria makes a definitive diagnosis of Marfan syndrome take, take longer, it reduces the risk of premature or missed diagnosis. In the presence of family history, ectopia lentis is sufficient for diagnosis. A systemic score of more than or equal to 7 with family history is also sufficient for the diagnosis of Marfan syndrome. Aortic dilatation on Z score of value of more than 2 above 20 years of age and more than or equal to 3 below 20 years of age as well as the family history of Marfan syndrome is sufficient for the diagnosis. That's all about today's video. I hope you all understood and learned well. Please let me know what other topic you would like to learn from me. Till that time, take care of yourself. Study hard, study smart. Bye.